essay review, explanation, beauty lesson on lip transformers, robots in disguise. So I have a problem. Every time I say transformers, I have to do the song. And for some reason, doing the song means that I need to do the robot, which I don't know how to do. You can tell, like, my, I'm like a broken down robot. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what you guys think about me. My mom's like, you get carried away sometimes. You need to like relax a little bit. So today I'm here with kind of an explanation about lip transformers. I, I've been seeing them kind of pop up here or there kind of sporadically. And I don't know, I feel like you guys need an explanation about these. First time I saw a lip transformer, robot in disguise, I, uh, I was, I don't know, like, 13 or something you know when you know when ravers were in style groovers they were called back then groovers i think that was like around the late late 90s early 2000s the groovers they were people that would go to raves wear a bunch of bright colors dance with glow sticks um and they these weird lip glosses came out that were like almost like duochrome or they, they literally look like a glow stick, like the, 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 do you guys see that? The actual, like, lip gloss itself looked like a glow stick. It was so bizarre. The main purpose of a transformer, a lip transformer, is to be able to modify a lip color just slightly and to be able to make your eyes, your lips glossy and reflect or catch light a certain way or a different way. So it almost adds a dimension of color to a color that you're already wearing. Um, it's really not that impressive. When you see it in the container, when you see most um, lip transformers in their container, um, you see them and they look really, really interesting. But once applied, it's really not, it's not anything life-changing or that you need in your collection, but I will say that if you are someone that likes to top your lips with gloss after applying lipstick or a lip lacquer or something, if you're like a lip gloss topper, it might be something that you would enjoy. So I actually have four lip transformers that I want to share with you guys. Kind of swatch them. I'm going to put one of them on so you can get an idea of how these guys look and how they work and which ones are my favorite, how much they cost all that jazz. So I'm gonna bring you guys in closer. Welcome to my transformer face. So I have four transformers that I wanna share with you guys and I'm gonna put one of them on. I'm gonna let you choose. No, I'm just kidding. I wish it was interactive, wouldn't that be cool? So I'm gonna show you guys four. The first one, I kinda wanna get out of the way because it's not really a transformer, but it can work like one. And this is from Senna Cosmetics and it is a um, lip lacquer. So it's not a transformer gloss. It's a lip lacquer in the shade Flash. But if you guys can see in the um, packaging, it's almost like a duochrome gloss. It has a blue reflect, but the actual gloss itself is almost like a nude with a blue reflect, and it also has a little bit of like gold shimmer in it. So it could, it could very well work as a transformer, but it does bring color. And with transformers, you don't really want it to bring too much color. You want it more to bring that like pizzazz, jazz hands to your lipstick. You know what I mean? So this is the first one, and this is Flash from Santa Cosmetics. And it's almost like a nudie or mauvey base with blue, like a blue reflection. Do you guys see how it's red and some angles and then kind of gold and then a little blue? I showed this to you guys, I'm thinking a review or something. So that's Flash from Senna Cosmetics and I think this is $19. The other one that I want to show you, kind of want to get out of the way because it was limited edition and I don't know why. This is from the Kat Von D collection and it was, it's in the same packaging as the um, liquid lipsticks, but this isn't a everlasting liquid lipstick. It's not one of those matte kind of dries onto your lips, permanent lipsticks that don't move or, or budge or do anything. No, it's not one of those. This is just a lip gloss, but if you guys can see it in the container, it's a pink and orange transformer, but if you see it, how the light catches it, it has a little bit of a green thing going on. So it's very, very unique, and I think this was $19. I really wish you would bring it back because it was sold out the entire time that it came out. Like People really liked it. I personally 
don't think it's one of the best transformers I've tried, um, but it's pretty cool. So I swatched it for you guys right there, but I kind of want to swatch it live so you could see how it changes color. Let's see, I'm going to make such a mess. Look at that. So when you apply it, it kind of, it drops down like yellowish green and then it changes orange. And the other one that I want to show you, it is a permanent one and Jessie's Girl Cosmetics actually has three different colors. They have more of like a reddish orange, they have like a blue one, and then like a green one. I think this is the green one. I think so. Um, you guys can tell. It, it's hard to tell because it, it's so many different colors all at once. And this is a $5 lip transformer from uh, Rite Aid or Jessie's Girl Cosmetics and this is in the color Wicked. So if you can see the doe foot applicator, there's like no color on it. But when you swatch it, do you guys see that right there? It's that one right there. I'm going to swatch it again. So it's like you drop it and it almost changes color. It's so hard for you guys to tell because um, it looks so different once it's swatched. But I'm, I'm trying to decide which one to um, put on for you guys so you could be like, oh wow, that's really cool. And then the newest one that I bought is from Bare Minerals from the Marvelous Moxie collection. And I actually got this at Ulta. It's brand new and it's in the color Hypnotist. Um, and I think there's only one in the collection. This is the only one. Um, and look at this. If you see it in person, live in person, it looks like electric lilac. But on camera, it's kind of picking up a little pink, a little blue. But it, in person, it's like an electric, electric, electric purple. But it almost looks like when it rains and the rainbow comes out, that's exactly what it reminds me of. So I'm going to swatch this one for you guys. So you can see the doe foot applicator. It's like purpley looking. This one, when it comes out of the bottle, it looks like the Jessie's Girl, but once you swatch it, it looks just like the Kat Von D, almost like a, a bright orange. I'm trying to swatch this so you guys can see it really well. Did you guys catch that? I'm going to swatch it one more time. Let's see. You see how it, it's so funny the way it works. It's almost like it, you swatch it and like it instantly changes color. So I'm going to, I think I'll apply that one. I think I'll apply that one on top of what I'm already wearing. Since it's the newest one, it's a limited edition. It's not hard to find. This one's $18 though. Right now, I'm just wearing a matte lip lacquer from Ofra, Ofra in the color Laguna Beach. This is what I'm wearing on my lips now. Um, it's one of the um, most comfortable matte long wearing lipsticks that I have. I should just apply it to the bottom. See if you guys can tell the difference. So if you guys can tell the difference, I didn't apply it to the top one, only the bottom. And it looks like my lips are glossy, but they don't just look glossy. They look, they look like, um, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Have you guys ever heard of the trick where if you put on like red lipstick and then you put on or pat on in the center of your lips a little bit of gold eyeshadow and then it makes that area of your lips just look really plump and just catch all the light? That's exactly what it's doing. But I feel tempted almost to, let me try the Jessie's Girl one. I'm going to apply this one to the top, and if we make a big old mess, then that's okay, but I think this one might be a better example. Okay, so I just applied it to this half. I didn't apply it over here. So if you look at the bottom, this is the Marvelous Moxie Hypnotist, the $18 one from Bare Minerals. Up here at the top, this is Wicked from Jessie's Girl Cosmetics. And then over on this side, it's just the matte lipstick that I was telling you guys about. So there's no shine. So if you can see these transformers, they don't change the color. They almost like... Um, make it alive. It makes your lips look almost like you, like you got them done. It makes them look puffy, 
um, juicy, I was gonna say swollen, how, I can only think of like negative synonyms. <laughs> it makes them look really juicy, really plump and supple. And I think a lot of times we think that if we want to make our lips look juicy or plump, we have to buy something really, really expensive. I know there's a, there's a really expensive lip plumper going around Instagram right now, super expensive. In my personal opinion, I tried it, it doesn't work. Um, or we think that it has to hurt, like um, the lip injections from Too Faced. Oh my God, those hurt so bad. But these are, I think, cheaper alternatives. It's kind of a way to add that weird extra dimension to whatever lip color you're wearing. And without it really changing the color, it just kind of gives your lips that look it gives your lips that look like you got it, like you got work done. It kind of gives your lips that look like, almost like you got some work done. I'm not condoning getting work done. If you want to get it done, good for you, as long as you can afford it and your family's taken care of. I feel like I need to add a disclaimer. Um, but doesn't it look like I, like I got lip injections? And it's not painful, hey. <laughs> So that is it for this quickie look into lip transformers. I know the name could be a little confusing or misleading. You would think, oh, okay, it's supposed to change the color of a lipstick. And although it does, like say a red lipstick, if you were to put this glow, glow stick from Jessie's Girl in Wicked on top of a red lipstick, it would for sure change the color because you can even tell now that my top lip looks a little bit different than my bottom lip. So it will for sure change the color. So it really depends on the color you're wearing. The reason I wore a nude lip underneath is because I wanted to see, I wanted you guys to see the biggest purpose or the biggest benefit out of investing in a lip transformer. It gives your lips the illusion of them being juicier, plumper, healthier, more hydrated, without having to wear a painful lip product or having to pay for lip injections. So it is a really good alternative to plumping up your lips or giving the illusion of plumper lips. Um, and I wanted to give you guys several options. So if you guys are all, if you guys are set on trying the Kat Von D one, this one is in the color Super Liminal. It's, it is Super Liminal, right? Super, yeah, Super Liminal. Um, you could probably find it on eBay or, I don't know, Amazon. Um, but my, Favorite of the ones that I showed you is probably the Glow Stick in Wicked from Jessie's Girl because I feel like it's the one that gives you the juicy plump look, but it also actually transforms the colors of certain lip products that you wear underneath. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know which one of the four that I showed you is the one that you're most curious to try. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe.